Hello friends, welcome to KnitInspire.com. Our website will help you if you create knits or crochets as well as their patterns, invent stitch patterns and create their schemes, want to quickly adapt knitted or crocheted patterns for any yarn and tools, want to have all the information about projects always at your fingertips. Next we show how the site works. Register on the site please. The registration process is standard. Use this for Facebook, Google, or other site forms. If you use the site form, you must confirm the registration by email. After that, you will receive 10 days of trial period with full access to all functions on the site. For registration, we don't ask your bank card details or other payment information. All other projects created during the trial period can be saved on your computer. If you want to stay with us after the trial period, subscribe by selecting one of the subscription plans in the pricing section. Next step, check and set the units of measurement for the best calculations. Select the setting section in the menu by clicking on the avatar in the upper right corner of the site. Set the units of mass and length. Save the information. Fill out the catalogs of yarn, tools, and swatches. This will help you to quickly find information and create projects. Fill the My Tools catalog. Fill in the form fields. Click the Add Tool button. Add the second item in the same way. Fill in the My Yarns catalog. Fill in the My Swatches catalog. Enter the swatch name, its dimensions, mass and or the length of the yarn. If you have not yet knitted a swatch but want to try to create a project, use our information tables. The link is below the video. Select Tools and Yarn from Catalogs. Choose a stitch pattern from your catalog or site library. Click the Add a Swatch button. Add the second swatch in the same way. In this video, we will not talk in detail about the creation of stitch patterns. Stitch patterns are created in a special editor. We talk about Stitch Patterns Editor work in a separate video and in the Help Center of the site. You can apply any stitch pattern from your catalog or site library to the pattern elements of your project. Create a Project Step 1. Create a schematic pattern. You can create a schematic pattern in two ways. 1. Using the Basic Patterns Customizer. 2. Using a Graphical Editor Pattern Editor. In the video, we consider the first method. The second way to create is that you can find in the Help Center of the site. The link is below the video. Go to the My Project section, click the Create a Project button, enter a name for the project and other attributes in the opened form. Click the Create Pattern using the Basic Patterns Customizer button. Select the design and its parameters. Style and length of sleeve. The shape of the neck.
Select the size of the garment and see how it may look in the color you want. Correct the dimensional data if needed. You can also choose a measurement system, metric or English. Click the Create Project button after completing all settings. Step 2. Next, you will enter the Pattern Editor, where you can edit the pattern elements if necessary. Click the Finish Editing and Go to Calculations button at the end. Step 3. Add a swatch from the project. You can select a previously added swatch from the catalog or enter the data immediately. You can also add several swatches for different elements if necessary. Then the selection of swatch swatches will be performed with automatic calculations. All elements of the pattern will be presented in stitches and rows. The yarn consumption calculation will also be performed. Instructions for online knitting will be generated and a final report will be created. Click the Save button at the end. Step 4. Next, you will be taken to the Stitch Pattern Editor. Here you can add stitch patterns to the elements of the garment, presented in stitches and rows. Click the Finish Editing button at the end. Step 5. Online Knitting. Here you can start to knit your garment, receiving instructions and tracking knitting row by row. Click the Go to Final Report button at the end. Step 6. Final Report. It contains all the information about the project. It can be edited as you like. Add photos, text, tables, etc. You can export the report to PDF format. Created projects you will find in the My Projects section of your account. This video does not show all the features of the site. More information about the site functions is in the Help Center. We hope that the site will be useful to you.